So this is uh, a different type of question. It's a little more difficult than the ones we were just doing. Uh, they're more difficult because they involve a coefficient in the first term, whereas the other questions had x squared or n squared. They didn't have a coefficient here, so they were a little different. These ones, a good method to, there are different methods to solve these, but the one we did in class a couple months ago was what I call the swing method, and it works quite well once you get the swing of it. So our first thing is to swing 2 times 45, so that'd be like this, swings onto there, and we get, we have to write it out, we're going to get negative 90. So we, re we rewrite it, 2x squared minus 13x minus 90, okay? Uh, that's our first step. Now we look for the factors of 90 uh, that subtract to be 13. Let's see what we can find. 90 and 1, 45 and 2, okay, 10 and 9. What else is there? 30 and 3. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, 18 and 5, right? And remember, what are we looking for when you're looking for all these factors? We're looking for the factors of 90 that subtract to be 13. And let's just look through these and see if we found them yet. 90 minus 1 is 89. No. 45 minus 2 is 43. Didn't work. 10 minus 9 is 1. Didn't work. 30 minus 3 is 27. That didn't work. But 18 minus 5 does. And so we have our factors, and now we're on a roll here. We've got 18 and 5. We subtract them. X minus 18, and X, now we want plus 5 because otherwise we're, we're not going to be able to, we're going to get negative 13, we have to have negative 18 plus 5 to do that, and I can show you here if you need it, negative 18 here plus 5 is what we're looking for because that equals negative 13, negative 13, right? So now what do we do with that 2, that 2 at the beginning? can be divided out. So if we take that 2 and divide it into here, we start to get our factors. We've got x minus 9, because 18 divided by 2 is 9. And we have x plus 5 over 2, which we now write as 2x plus 5. So we write that as 2x plus 5. And now we can see if that works. Let's foil it out and see if it worked. x times x, 2x is 2x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Negative 9 times 2x is negative 18x. Negative 9 times 5 is negative 45. And we have, let me tilt this down so you can see it. Let's see if that worked. 2x squared, when we add those up, we get 2x squared minus 13x minus 45. And guess what? It worked. It worked out just right. So we have to follow that swing method to see if it works. We'll summarize the steps. First of all, you swing 2 times 45, negative 45, you get negative 90. You rewrite it, 2x squared minus 13x minus 90. And you deal with the factors of 90 to see which ones will subtract to be the middle term. 18 and 5 work, so we have x minus 18 and x plus 5, because negative 18 plus 5 is negative 13. We have to deal with that 2 now, and what we do is divide it. We divide each of these by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9, x minus 9, and then this swings over here, 2x plus 5, and that's how we write it, and we've got our, our factors. So it's pretty easy once you get the swing of it. We'll have to try some more problems. Let's go over to this board here, number 28. 28. 5y squared plus 25y plus 30. First thing you should notice, and this is the thing you should ask yourself and look for every single time, is there a common factor? There is five. Five can be factored out, and everything could, will be different once you do that, so you always look for that. We take the five out of each of those, and we end up with uh, five on the outside, and y squared plus five y plus six left over. And now we're looking at a relatively easy problem, because the factors of six add to be five. They do, right? Six and one, that doesn't, but three and two do. So we've got five on two, y plus 3, y plus 2. If we FOIL that out, we'll get it. But basically the key in this step, in this problem was, the trick was, not to get into the whole swing method because it would have been easy. You might have thought, oh yeah, i got to swing 5 times 30, get 150, and figure it out what the swing method. Well, that would have been more complicated than it needed to be. Again, if you look for that common factor first, you're always going to be in much better shape. Look for it every time you possibly can. Take it out.
because it's going to simplify your problem. Once your problem is simple, it's all downhill from there.